<laughs> Sometimes her face just doesn't look right. <laughs> what a dweeb. <laughs> I was kind of hoping she would fall after that. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Fighter VI. Today we're going to meet the third DLC character of Season 1, uh, and he's not a very joyous man, so we had to get our joy out before we met him. <laughs> Here we have Wes Craven, who we will talk to to start... Uh, <laughs> this sucks! <laughs> ...to start the quest. Grandma's gonna give me an earful with her fists. <laughs> I also put Bot Bet in something a little, uh, a little showy. Show off them muscles, them ab and them abdomoids. Get over here! I'm glad it's for muscle reasons. I mean, yeah, mostly. I'm sad. But we've been over this. Her breasts just don't look right. Yeah, plus, I mean, you could see them clearly in anything she wears. <laughs> Gotta love the determination, though. <laughs> he just stays there. Alright, now we gotta hop on the train, because these hooligans are trying to keep the train from going. They're wearing different boxes, too. Well, maybe if they get out of the tracks. <laughs> Damn. Get the emo twink! Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> A fellow boxer, you say? Yes. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Step aside, loser. <laughs> it reminds me of that one scene from Star Fox Adventures. Where the one bad guy just knocks the shit out of the other bad guy. <laughs> hey! We're not finished! That was so sick. It's <laughs> Edward! Wow. You don't know when to quit. It's another oh, victim of Shadaloo's experiments introduced in Street Fighter 4, made playable in Street Fighter 5. It's a little complicated. Show up again and I'll punch a hole through you. I did not care for Ed in Street Fighter V. I thought he was lame as shit. I thought he looked stupid. I thought he acted stupid. And I hated how he stood. In this game, it's a lot <laughs> he's a lot cooler. I like his redesign, and I like his personality and his story too. <laughs> Ed standing there, Jacob seeming. <laughs> maybe it's my maybe it's my OCD. Sometimes I won't play a character because their default stance is dumb. Cammy's in this game isn't dumb, but I definitely prefer her stance in Street Fighter V over her as one in this one. I have I, I have weird I have a weird philosophy about it. No, that, that's not weird. That's part of why people play characters. Sometimes people play characters just as how cool they look, how they carry themselves, how they fight. Mine is their posture. So, boxing Spider-Man, huh? Seriously? I'm not interested in whatever you're pitching. You really want me to punch a hole through you? Holy shit. Don't threaten me with a good Just time. You. you working with Neo Shadowloo? My dad boxes and so do I. God damn it. You need to learn to stop pissing me off! Asshole. Oh, anyway, hello, how are you? My name is Ed. <laughs> oh, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You 
platform isn't bad, but... Yeah. You need to work on your follow-through! Hey, over here! Yeah. Check it out, this shit rules! <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. There's a guy named Ed and a girl in a hat. We also put some boxing gloves on a cat. What's her name? I don't care! <laughs> Alright, we're fighting with Ed. Wait, this guy's name is Cigarette, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice I am a le I am a lower level than uh, in the last video. That's because this is my first recording since the great save data loss of 2013. That guy was Cigarette. The one you took out was vape, and that was cigar. <laughs> you could say I have but Well, could we? <laughs> <laughs> you could say I have but I wasn't done. But I don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, the next... Let's I guess. Just give me one more peek. I'm flattered, but, uh... But really, I'm about that. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> no, I'm about that. <laughs> that means you are now under my tutelage. I'm not tooting. I didn't ask for that. Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you he psycho flicker? So it's down <laughs> forward. <again. laughs> So we got Ed style now. Ed is the, the first Street Fighter VI boxer. Even his kick moves are punches. He does not kick you, he only punches. So finally, the, the daughter of Nintendo can bop to her heart's content. <laughs> it's about time. Not the first boxing style character we've had. No. Before we've always had a uh, Balrog, and then we had Dudley, who I'm still rooting for to get into this game. But after seeing how uh, Ed was handled, hard to say if I want another boxer after that. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Getting back into costume, I am wearing the athletic tank top, which uh, you cannot earn in World Tour. You can only buy it from the the hub goods shop with either drive tickets or real money. I've used drive tickets, thankfully. So, fuck. Okay, so I'm going to be showing better examples. This first fight is actually some bullshit. First of all, what you saw there was... Uh, his heavy punch. If you hold it, then you could do this massive charge forward, which is excellent because it either hits them and stuns them, or if they block it, it's plus on block, meaning you can get the advantage even if they block it. For Ed's special moves, we have the Psycho Flicker, which is either uh, a short range or a, a medium range, rather, melee attack, which can be angled either up, straight, or down, I think. Uh, depending on the button you press, or if you hold it and charge it, then you can do that thing that Ed did in the cutscene where he just kind of uses, yeah. as Yoshi put it, Spider-Man shit hmm. to yoink your opponent towards you, what? which can be excellent for setting up combos. So to get a better look at Ed's style, I'm actually going to be fighting Andore Jr. the second here, which is one of the uh, special fighters you fight during the Fighty Mighty side quest. So since this this is more proper fights with more competent AI, I thought I'd just go through one of these instead. And the other move we got is the, uh, the I believe it's called the Psycho Burst. I've literally just forgotten. And that is just a, just a simple series of punches. It's really all there is to say about that. The <laughs> ball, but I do like that. Though. I do like being able to pull in the opponent. Yeah, and I believe if they block the pull-in, I think that is also... Oh, hold on. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's just how all her opponents see her. <laughs> I thought you said she was cute, man. <laughs> she is cute. Wasn't that precious? She says missing teeth. <laughs> Don't do that. Mom does that all the time. 
I like the EX version of the Psycho Burst because it's just a bunch of really fast punches. Like that. A neat thing about Ed's uh, kicks being punches is that he has a very simple anti-air, which is just heavy kick. Heavy kick is an upward punch. So if someone's jumping in on you, you can just press heavy kick <laughs> to get them down. <laughs> very nice. She looks great in that pose, though. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, great pose! She looks cool. I love forgetting my editing gags, it's great. Hey. Love that already knocked out guy. <laughs> Did you do that? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Here's our first super with Ed, the Psycho Storm, with just a bunch of punches. <laughs> You're gonna notice with Ed, it's a lot of punching. In boxing? And I'm replacing the Menlone Command grab with something else because I kept doing it by accident. <laughs> yeah, I saw. When I was trying to do the Psycho Blitz, which there. is the third different name I've called it in this video, but Psycho Blitz is correct. <laughs> Uh, psycho string, yo yo time, string cheese jamboree. Now that's psycho flicker, I got that right. <laughs> psycho blitz is the load of punches. But it's a really fun toy. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, I mean, I keep hearing this this voice in my head. Ha ha ha, something about Tuesday. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> you fake Street Fighter fucking fan, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I do feel like an idiot, so I'm gonna forget you said anything. And here's a little bit of Ed's backstory. Ed's backstory is very sad. He was raised and constantly experimented on by Shadowloo. So then... About that... Well... <laughs> you have no obligation hey. to hang around me. Welp, his voice clicked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do you think Ed's theme song is? If you guessed a German rap, you are correct. This song is awesome. Listen, the song gets louder when I start winning, okay? I mean, it does, but even the opening... This is so sick. No, you don't. Let me show you one. <laughs> <laughs> You're just lucky that I'm in an instructor level right now, it's fine. No, you Wow. Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I thought he threw a Molotov in anger or something. So Ed does have a projectile. Oh! Okay, oh, wow. I thought we were about to collide and destroy the world. <laughs> Ed does have a projectile. It's interesting, actually. It starts with a punch, and you have to do another input afterwards to actually shoot the projectile. So you can fake people out with it really easily. Like, you can do a bunch of fireballs in a row, but then just do the punch, and then, like, maybe they'll jump in, in anticipation for the fireball that's not coming. Then you can fuck them up. Smash them up! It's really funny. I love that song. <laughs> hey, hey. The way Ed lays on the ground when you beat him, it, there, it, there's something unnerving about the way he holds his hands up because I know that, like, if you get a concussion and you fall back like that, that's kind of what your arms do. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, did I concuss Ed? Yeah, I was kind of looking at his hands, and I'm thinking, like, huh, is he, like, twitching, like, because he's been experimented? <laughs> well, he's fine, but... <laughs> 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 
really, dude. <laughs> Something about the fact that he's not looking at the camera is what makes it funnier. <laughs> oh, are you taking a selfie? Don't mind me. I'm just being myself. I don't care about your selfies. Careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> so how many followers do you have without killing her? Good upload that too. <clears throat> uh, they're not here for my friends. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so like, two or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> what if Ed is the one uh. that Bop Bet thinks is cringe? <laughs> 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 like he is the limit. <laughs> Of all the goofballs she fucking met, the guy who has the same boxing... Actually, the more you think about it, it's stupider it gets. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, you box too, huh? Do ya? She's even looking away from him awkwardly. <laughs> you know, my dad boxes. Yeah, you said that when we met. Alright, and with the Ed I... DLC, we also got a new side quest. Uh, vaguely related to Ed. It's more uh, developing a little bit on Neo Shadowloo. I see. Oh, so there's another box-headed bitch fighting people on the mountains. Do you know how little... Do you know how that doesn't narrow it down in the least? <laughs> <laughs> so many fox-headed bitches around here. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> oh no, most of them are weak little babies, but like, they seem to be talking to this one like they're talking about Bosch. You didn't even talk to him! <laughs> yeah, I'll throw hands. Nah, it's okay. It is. Oh, he's got his defenses. Dude, he's pretty high level, too. They expect you to do this late in the game, I guess. I, I thought he grabbed you, and I was like, oh, he remembered that he was in a fight. Oh god! Hey, hey, he woke up. <laughs> a little bit of fresh prince action there. Yep. Uh, anyway, you got a quest for me, G G Ganda? <laughs> Hang god, I gotta heal. Hi. Ha! Hi. You wanna hear about the fighter hunter? Are you related to Ed in any chance? Oh, don't you ever fucking say that to me. <laughs> it starts shaking. Like, you, remember that old meme from years ago with the with Arthur's fist? <laughs> it's like one of those. <laughs> I'm the original Metro City boxer. All wrong is like, uh. Uh. <laughs> Dudley is like, um. <laughs> oh, dude, I could get a bunch of fucking Sirachis and I took them all. Ah. That cow's very interested. <laughs> and that, that guy down on the ground is like, what the hell? We were having a conversation. Why aren't you paying attention to me? All right, so the, the, the fighter hunter would be attracted to us Hi if there. we dressed like this guy. So we had to put on the Sarashi. He's got a type. Hey. Oh, there they are. Right. <laughs> Sorry, my first thought was I smell lesbian. Yeah, I hope you're sorry. It's never intimidating. It's never intimidating. <laughs> it just isn't. It's just stupid. <laughs> he looks 
Like, no offense to Guile, but- Oh, God! <laughs> All offense given! <laughs> Never mind, Jesus. I, I didn't heal before this, so he didn't just one-punch me at full health. This guy, uh, we could win some trading cards off of him, which is actually Ed's favorite item. So we gotta get those. He does deal absurd amounts of damage, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To be fair, I may also be wearing shitty armor. Because, <laughs> like, when I'm grinding, as I'm, there's plenty of people who are like, Oh, you beat me to uh, with an item that takes up multiple slots. Uh, and I get, like, a, a silver nug for it or something. So I sometimes wear something like that in preparation for that while I'm grinding. So my armor might suck, but also he's the same level as me, so... Ed's playstyle, I actually... It actually reminds me a lot of Ken. Because both Ed and Ken have a very simple target combo of medium punch, heavy punch. Both of which send the opponent flying a little bit and can be cancelled into a wide variety of different things, depending on the scenario. And they're both severely depressed and have been ex experimented on, so I understand. Correct. Hold on, I need my Red Bull. Shit! Oh, no iframes. There we go. Now, level ones are not invincible to projectiles. You know, that said, I love the idea that one of them bop at a doors and the other is Zed. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ken genuinely, like, thinks she's a good kid. Is just that she he also thinks she's annoying, where Ed's just like, I'm pretty cool, right? Eh. Uh, but, but, I'm cool. Uh -huh. So how do I look? Dude, you have the coolest tats in Nashal right now. <laughs> just go out and rock it. Yeah, well, I have the box when you look like this. I like fighting. A part of me would normally say don't talk to me then, but in this case, I'll hear you out. Don't talk to me until I forget about your trauma. Wait, no, the other way around. I'm trying to be offensive here. <laughs> Can I have your race center? I kind of like it. <laughs> so the, they're kind of planting seeds for more information on Neo Shadaloo. Hmm. I really feel like the mo the more like the quote unquote story progresses, I really do feel oh like my. there's going to be DLC for this, uh, or at least a continuation of World Tour story. And, uh, minor spoilers, the ending will make- make that feel very... possible. Uh -huh. And seeing as how we're currently in Wave 1 DLC, this Let's Play will take as long as Persona 5 Royal to complete. <laughs> oh, and recent- oh, we, we got a Shadaloo uniform. I believe there's another side quest you can complete. I don't know if we did it or not. That would give you Shadowloo gloves as well. I'm not wearing that shit. We got a, a recent information that uh, Akuma is coming out this spring and not this winter. I may have just been totally wrong on his release date, or maybe they pushed it up. I don't remember, but Akuma is happening way sooner than I thought. Pretty soon we'll be seeing the Satsui no Bapo, and I can't wait for it. Yeah. So this is actually a new stage that was added. I do not believe there's a way to see that in World Tour, and I did not have the wherewithal to show it off elsewhere, but it is the first new stage of the game. Careful out there. No. Seriously. 
Now! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Psycho Spark. <laughs> no, that Psycho Spark is the projectile I was talking about. I did change into that outfit. You can't see it right now, but fashion review? Well, when I get a chance. But can you wear a sumo headbutt? I don't know. Huh? Let's give him the trading cards. Oh, and the old boxing almanac. That is Ed's super favorite item. That will Hang increase on. his bond by like 20 or 25. <laughs> nice. And we continue the tradition of giving them their favorite items, and they're immediately like, the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> also, fashion review, I like it. Cool. I put way too much effort into making sure the wording of the introduction was just right. I don't know why I couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Ah, uh, my favorite drink, beer. I hate it. He's got jury vibes, doesn't he? <laughs> nah. He's not as... He doesn't relish as much in Making the most being a piece of shit. In, in Street Fighter <laughs> Five, maybe, but Jury was still way cooler. See, in my head, I was thinking it's like, oh, Jerry's the feet girl, so as the hands guy, he's like, can I touch your face? The moment I first met them, I knew something had brought all of us together. Especially the gorilla. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of people and a gorilla that Friends, Ed escaped Shadowloo with. Team, One of which was partners, Falk, who was that uh, girl with a very similar haircut to Ed. It who there was also was playable in Street Fighter V. That only we could understand. And this is how he looked in Street Fighter V. I together. hate his hat so fucking who much. It's the dumbest fucking there, hat. And there was only one thing for us to do. Why does the rim go down with his hair? We split up. Searching Ever since I lost my like awesome us. hat that Jacob but loves, I've now oh, moved to Metro City. All over the place. And I made a new best friend no named Bob we'll Ed. <laughs> 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 I'm not your best friend! And as my best friend, she would always yeah, say that. Bind aren't so easily severed. I caught out of her sense of humor very quickly. <laughs> Is this what I'm like to everybody? <laughs> I get it now! Uncle Ken, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't look at her, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ring the bell! So with Ed, in case you didn't notice, I picked Modern Controls. I actually prefer playing Ed with Modern Controls. There's a few characters I've, I've learned that I uh, I prefer with Modern. Usually if I don't like a character, uh, I don't like playing them as classic, I'll give them a chance with Modern. And Ed I much prefer with Modern, and I think I'm much better with... I'm okay as Ed. Uh, I thought I was better than I am, but I keep losing online, so I clearly have a lot to learn. Come on, you're gonna disappoint me like that? Round two. <laughs> thought he was gonna <laughs> kick her. <laughs> you gonna disappoint me? <clears throat> I'm sure that if you haven't played Street Fighter VI, uh, you won't notice much of a difference visually now that I'm playing modern. It's just, you know, you'll notice me doing a lot of the same combos because, you know, holding the right trigger and mashing a button will just do a preset combo. His winning animation is cool, too. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> He's got the style. He's definitely got the style. Nice show. Oh, he's not going to be happy with JP. As I kept searching, I realized something was off. Something or someone was moving behind the scenes. Who the hell are you? Oh, uh, yes. I suppose our paths never truly crossed. I was in control of Shadaloo's financial affairs. <laughs> My name is also online. two letters as well, Ed. I heard all of Shadaloo's top brass turned Don't tail try to their talk bison sweet died. To me. But you still swear loyalty to a hollowed out shell. What, what about now, though? Mm -hmm. Since you ask so nicely, <laughs> among the scattered remnants of Shadaloo, 
A movement has started that would place you as the new head of the organization. What? Neo Shadaloo, was it now? <laughs> Suffice to say, you do meet the requirements to be the heir to Bison's throne. Cut the bullshit! Why the hell would I want that? You wore a hat once. Say something! I'm not gonna Don't be anyone's bring up my you hat! Hear me? I... <laughs> we are gonna live our lives our way! I do like the vocal performance, Brad. Oh yeah, I, who voices him? Hold up. <laughs> like I'm goofing on the guy, but I, I genuinely think he's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's much. He is a vastly improved version of Fred for, versus what he was in Street Fighter V, where he was just a very boring, cocky punk. He was so goddamn lame. And again, I, I, I'm not joking. I hate that fucking hat. Like. The fact that the rim goes down the same direction as his hair, it just looks so stupid. Like, you could tell they had an idea, they went for it, it just didn't work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all Shadowloo characters just look like dweebs. Aside from M. Bison. <laughs> I mean, he's acting like a dweeb. <laughs> hey, I mean, he's still kind of dweeby. He's he's still he's, a bit of like dweeby, he's got that edge lord energy a little bit. Yeah, but I don't really blame him. It's like Shadow. Like I get why he's the way he is. Yeah, he's had a rough time of it. He's allowed to mope a little. Also, uh, love that uh, shout out to. Uh, the jab training he was doing, the quick strikes with his left palm. Yeah. It reminds me of one of those, like, boxing training machines mm -hmm. that I've seen. That you, like, put it on the wall and you punch the lights as they come up, kind of like a rolling game. Yeah. Oh. Is that it, then? Fight. Fight. And also, knowing how, how Capcom loves their anime references, I bet that was a, re uh, a little bit of a shout out to uh, Hajime no Ikuro when uh, he was training uh, to get into the boxing gym. Oh, I'm sure. Ah, Ed is voiced by Edward Bosco, who uh, y'all may remember as the voice of 18 Volt. Huh. Ah, I see. So this is the path 18 Volt will have to take then in the new WarioWare game that I can't wait to see let's play. Of. Oh yeah, for sure. And here's his level 3. It's pretty good. It turns him into a fucking punching bag. Yeah, this is what made me love it. Bit of an unceremonious flop he does at the end. <laughs> yeah, the impact is always lessened a little bit if you don't actually KO them with the level 3. He just turns you into an actual punching bag. It's so good. All of a sudden, we had a name. They call us Neo Shadowloo. The leftovers of the original Shadowloo are dead set on making me Bison's successor. Then you I'm looking through like uh, Mr. Bosco's IMDb. He's I also the voice of the Marauder in Doom Eternal. The game, then we'll give this Neo Shadowloo thing a go. But I wonder if he got the, the job because his we'll name was Ed. If we're doing this. Yeah, that's probably we're doing it. it. My way. <laughs> hey, you got the same fucking name, so go for it. I don't care about how talented you are. I just like your name, pal. <laughs> oh, oh and in, in fighting game world, he's also the voice of Chip Zanif in, in uh, Guilty Gear play. Strive. Ah, the man who famously explodes when you sneeze on him. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing nothing about Guilty Gear, I hope that's literal. <laughs> I will not provide context, so I will say, yeah, it's literal, Michaela. <laughs> it's also Joe Biden's main. I will also not provide context for that. I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ed, you got a shitty end to your video. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't over yet.
It ain't over yet. I have some things to say. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> I was like, we're not going to end it on fucking Joe Biden, are we? <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, as I said a few episodes ago, this is going to be the last episode of Street Fighter VI for quite a while now. Depending on when Akuma comes out, I might do Akuma shortly after his release, but other than that, I am still slowly but surely grinding through World Tour again to get my levels back. I'm also going to be moving across the country in a month and a half, so that uh, is something I need to prepare for as well. So, yes, the hiatus officially begins now. I do not have any further plans for Street Fighter VI until either I finish all my levels or Akuma comes out. Bopet is going to take a nap for a while, but by gum, she will return. And once Jacob is 85, that's when we'll continue the Let's Play. Welcome back to Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 12 and point seven Remix just came out. The remake of the 18th version of Street Fighter 8. <laughs> but, but to commemorate that, Man, words are just coming out of my mouth, aren't they? I'm dead by that point, so that's why I didn't say anything. Uh, no, you're not. I <laughs> practiced necromancy. Uh, you're not dying until we finish this little piece. <laughs> Weekend at Yoshi's. <laughs> Let me rest. Let me be gay in peace. Why can't you do <laughs> Is that what happens when you die? <laughs> I want to be isekai and be a different person, and yet here you are trapping me for Street Fighter 6. There's been 90 Street Fighters ever since. I walked in front of that truck for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I want a morally questionable harem in another world. God damn it. <laughs> well, I didn't say that. But... But I would not be entirely opposed. <laughs> Especially if it's morally questionable. I was gonna say, well, first, I'm gonna be nice to them. And secondly, mm. they have to want to actually be with me. <laughs> also, and third, they have to like Street Fighter. Yeah, that's, yeah so that's the one curse that I have. If they don't like Street Fighter. I'm an elf from a fantasy world. What the hell is a video game? Okay, so this is fucking Donkey Kong. So in 81, there was... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, like, wake up in the middle of the night and you see her just eyes wide trying to beat the high score on the Donkey Kong machine. <laughs> um, elf girlfriend, what are you doing? Shh, shh, I'm focused! Okay, cool. Anyway, I don't know why Yoshi's Isekai Adventures is the cap to Ed's fucking Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and the last Street Fighter episode for a while. Ed's like, damn, they're gonna come up with all these great jokes about me. Okay, they think I'm cool. What else? Oh shit, that's it. <laughs> no, Bob Ed hates him. That's, that's, <laughs> that's all he gets. Well, we like you, Ed, but Bob Ed does. Bobette has the wrong idea that she's the original boxer despite not <laughs> boxing actually until Ed came. <laughs> she's gaslighting herself. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, I'm the first boxer, right, guys? Uncle Ken? Right? Right? First ever in Metro City? I don't know how to unpack that. Also, thank God. <laughs> That we're taking a break. <laughs> yeah, so you can heal from all the wounds inflicted by Balrog after you say that. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Balrog lives in Vegas, I think, so... He does. Maybe you're safe. Anyway, see, see you when I'm level 98. <laughs> we'll see you in Street Fighter 7. <laughs> Take care. God, I hope not. 